What is up, NSP Football Talk? We're back here this week on Thursday, right before Thursday Night Football, and we're here to give you week six schedule predictions. So with that comes some of the talk about last week. Uh, we had some teams win and some teams lose. Uh, right now, my record is 46-33-1. How are you doing, Reed? I don't have my updated one because I don't remember what it was last week. I think it was 30. Okay, I, I do remember. It's, I was 33 and something last week. Now I, 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 got, I was 12 and 4 in my predictions, actually, Ooh. this past week. I was very impressed with myself. So now I'm going to be 45 and whatever. whatever. Yeah. And, should and be, one. Should yeah. be 45, 34, and 1. So you're one game behind me. Uh, uh, I know no. that. Uh, me and AJ got the same exact record, so I think he's still three games ahead of us, but it looks like you're catching up, Reed, so that's a good right. sign right there. Right. Uh, but I guess let's get right into this, right? So let me go ahead and add this onto the stream right here. Uh, so we got the AFC games coming up first. And, I mean, both you and I, Reed, I think we're both down on the Jaguars, but, again, we're not very high on the Colts as well, so – I want to hear your side of it first, and then I'll give my opinion right after. Yeah, I really think that the Colts could upset this game just because I, 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 who I don't know actually who is the favorites as far as betting on this one, just because the Jags have looked very wishy washy as far as are they a really good team in this league or are they just the same old Jags? The Colts they've looked sloppy every single game, um, but I'm thinking I'm gonna go with the Jags here just because they love. To upset the Colts. That's one of their favorite things to do. All right, all right. Uh, my big thing here is I want to go with the Colts so, so bad. It's just I don't know how healthy Jonathan Taylor is. He's been questionable all week since last game. Uh, I think he will play for sure, but again, Naheem Hines is out. Uh, they have Alec Pierce taking on most of the receptions. I think he was almost tied with Pittman on the, his uh, his targets. So, I mean, right now, that offense is a little shaky. They still don't have Darius Leonard, and I, I believe so. Uh, so, I think I'm going to go with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh, we got a clean sweep here between the two of us. So, the next game is the Patriots and the Browns. Now, we're not high on the Browns either, and I know you're definitely not high on the Patriots. But right now, Ramondre Stevenson is going to head the backfield because uh, I think Damian Harris is injured and considered pretty much out for this game uh but what do you think about the browns I, i'm not too high on amari cooper there but he's been doing pretty decent as of fantasy purposes so far how i feel about the browns they haven't been winning as many games as of late but they've been in the games you know they, they haven't just been getting rolled over um they've been they've been very close games now i do very much actually like the patriots this week their defense is playing very well they just shut out the Lions, the NFL's best offense, uh, supposedly, until last week. Um, I think I'm going to go Patriots here. I think they're going to have another good defensive game, uh, and they're just going to scrape by as far as, pay, uh, as far as their offense. Yeah, man, I think the Browns uh, barely lost last week, 28-30, uh, to 30, and I think that's going to be the same here. Uh, I do believe that the Browns will get some points on the board, unlike the Lions last week. But I'm going to go Patriots. So another away team for us winning on Sunday at 12. Uh, now we got the heavy hitters here with the Bills and the Chiefs. Uh, I'm just very surprised that this is not a primetime game or a 305 game. It is a 305. It's a 345 oh, game. Oh, 345. I must have missed that. But okay, yeah. so that's perfect. So everybody's going to be all eyes on this one. Nobody's going to be watching the Seahawks. Uh, amazing. So I'll, I'll be the only one there. But <laughs> <laughs> this one. This one's another heavy hitter, man. Uh, it feels like every week we have one heavy hitter uh, outside of prime time, and we always have one heavy hitter inside of prime time. So this one is going to be very interesting. Bills are four and one. Chiefs are four and one. High powered offenses. Josh Allen is right now the MVP favorite for sure. Uh, I just saw a stat. He's four hundred yards uh, greater than he was last year, as well as four touchdowns when we hit week five or week six, actually. So uh, Josh Allen is doing amazing, but Patrick Mahomes is no guys to shake up, shake about. So uh, the run game there is good. Uh, Everybody is on point. They have so many receivers and so many threats. Uh, but I think I'm still going to go with the Bills here. Okay, okay. 
I'm gonna make a game time decision. I'm gonna break it down. I, th- oh, it's it, this is it could go either way, man. Uh, the Bills have looked so good offensively, like like a juggernaut. Uh, the Chiefs, they've been looking good too, obviously, but it's been a lot of like you had to fight for those yards. I feel like the the Bills is just like I'm gonna huck this up there. We're just gonna beat you. Um, just because how explosive they are. Ah, oh, man. I want to pick against you because it, it, it is the Chiefs at home, man. The it Chiefs is, at home are, play very, very well. Yeah, man. Uh, Kelsey has been doing amazing. Uh, Scantling has been doing pretty well, too. So uh, he's a guy that you like as well. But it's up to you here, man. I'm going to go Chiefs. All righty, all righty. It's the home of the Chiefs, man. At, well, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and, and put Bills here, but everybody okay. make it known that uh, Reed chose the Chiefs here. Now we got a stinker on Monday Night Football. Yuck. The Broncos again, stinky, 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 and Russell Wilson is questionable. So, I mean, do you go with the Chargers here? Because I'm going with the Chargers here. I'm going with the Chargers. I yeah. think this is clean, cut, and dry. Broncos <laughs> and Russell Wilson are it's just a, not a good match. Yeah, man, it's pretty uh, pretty stinky cheese over there. But uh, let's move on to the next one. We won't waste any time on that last game. But this is a game that I want you to head here, so I'll leave the floor to you. All right. After that last game that the Packers played, it's very hard to pick any uh, game for the Packers to win if they play like that again. Um, I do not think they will play like that again. Uh, they did kind of have a home field advantage in London because of all the Packer fans there. But this is Lambeau Field. We played different there. I think the Packers can win this game. Jets have won very close games, and they've been against not the best teams in, as far as, like, what shape they're in. I mean, they beat the third-string Dolphins. I mean, it, yes, <laughs> they have been playing very impressively. I think they're going to – if our lesser, we make defensive changes, which I highly doubt Joe Barry will – um, I think the Jets could put, put up a lot of points against us, but I think we have a a, a bounce back game as far as offensively. So I'm going to go Packers. It's hard to bet against the Packers and Lambeau. Yeah, man. I I just think y'all are going to come back to Lambeau. You guys are going to have some adjustments on offense, not so much defense, because I think that just like you said, Joe Barry is not going to make any. Uh, I don't know why, but that I'll leave that up to him. I'm not a DC in the NFL, uh, but. Don't sleep on the Jets, my man. Uh, they have they are tied right now in the NFL for the most plays over 15 yards. For sure. uh, that is 35 of them. That's an insane uh, stat. I forgot who they are tied with, but I'm pretty sure it was something like the Bills or something like that. So that's uh, impressive. Uh, but again, I think Aaron Rodgers will come back. He's usually good after he takes a loss. Uh, so I will go with the Packers here as well. Uh, thank so you, thank we'll, you. we'll go on to the next game, and we got the Bengals and the Saints. So right now, Taysom Hill had an amazing game last week against the Seahawks, and that's why they ultimately won. Uh, but I don't know if he can replicate that against the, the Bengals here. But they are at home now, so let's see. What are your thoughts, Reed? You know, this is one of those games where I'm just – I feel it, it should have been just clear-cut and dry Bengals win just because we thought – we knew who the Bengals were, but they're sitting at two and three right now. Um, and it's very hard for me to want to pick them. The Saints, on the other hand, if they have Andy Dalton starting, then I think they have a much better chance of winning. But if you know who starts. <laughs> Mr. Mister I W's. I think W's. Um, I, I really want to go Saints here. Okay, I'm gonna, okay. I'm, I'm gonna go Bengals actually. I'm gonna oh, go Bengals, even goodness. though I want to choose the Saints. Well, here's the thing I think if they have Andy Dalton on the field, I think they are a much better team. Alvin uh-huh. Kamara was very into the game, but again, the Seahawks defense is not anything mm-hmm. uh, to gloat about whatsoever. So, in my opinion, I think that the Bengals win here. Uh, I Hope that they would get more offensive push from Mixon as well as Jamar Chase. And hopefully Higgins can play. I know he is questionable like he is almost every week right now. Mm -hmm. But if he does play, I think he plays a big factor. So I'm going Bengals here. Uh, I just think they're the safer bet. And I don't believe fully in the Saints yet. They are still in trouble. Uh, But going on to the next game, we got the Ravens and the Giants. Uh, I think this one, 
should have been clear cut. But after last week, the Giants have been playing good. They are four and one. They come nice. back almost every game. It's pretty insane. But again, the Ravens are a high-powered offense. Lamar Jackson is good, uh, and he's been passing out there to uh, Devin Duvernay, who I'm very high on, and as well as Mark Andrews, the number two tight end in fantasy. Uh, so I, I'm going to go ahead and say that I'm locking in the Baltimore Ravens here. I feel like they are just too much for the New York Giants, even though the Giants' corners and safeties are very, very good. Yeah, um, I have a newfound respect for the Giants. Um, they played very, very well against us. Daniel Jones looked like an actual starter in the league, which I'm very proud of him. Um, and Saquon's amazing. That defense, uh, I mean, if you don't have an answer for that blitz package, you're going to be in trouble because they, they run it a lot. Uh, whether they show it or they actually do it, they, they show it, it, it's a lot. Um, I, I, I want to go Giants here just because – I, they they really stunned me, but I, I I don't this whole season I've been not wanting to bet against the Ravens whether they're going against a, a juggernaut or whatever it's hard for me to want to uh, bet against them so I'm I'm still going with how I've been all year I'm gonna go with the Ravens. Nice, nice, nice. So we're in agreement there. But now we got the Bucks and the Steelers. I feel like this one is clear cut as ever. We saw the way the Steelers played last week. They looked like they just gave up as soon as they snapped their first offensive snap. Uh, they only got three points on the board. Uh, how many points do you think they'll score this week against the Bucks? Uh, Bucks have another good, um, very good defense. Um, I think the Steelers have a bounce back week. Uh, I do not think they get only three points again. I think they figure some things out. They they scheme up something offensively, and they maybe get 10. Uh, but Bucks get 13. Yeah, at okay. least for sure, for yeah. sure. Uh, well, hopefully Deontay Johnson, hopefully Najee Harris can make an impact, especially for those fantasy owners. I know they're hurting with anybody that's playing for the Steelers right now, uh, especially our Warren Nestor, who drafted TJ Watt in the first round. Uh, let's hope he can come back soon as well. But I think uh, we're both in agreement here on the Bucks. Uh, so now we're going to go to a game that should have been an amazing game, but now it's not so much because of the way they're going with Teddy B. Uh, but who do you um, have here? As far as right now, Teddy B is not the starter, even mm-hmm. though even though he sh- he de- technically doesn't have a concussion right now. The whatever his name is, uh, I forget what the third string quarterback his name is, but um, uh, he he is slated to start. Uh, but Teddy Bridgewater could slide in there. Hmm. In my opinion, I think Teddy Bridgewater will be the guy to go in, but we'll see about that. But with that said, whether it be Teddy Bridgewater or the third string for uh, Miami, who do you think is going to win here? Do you think Kirk Cousins, Justin Jefferson, and Dalvin Cook will get the W, or do you think the Dolphins will pull an upset against the 4-1 and Vikings? Uh, even though... I think the Dolphins can put up a good fight. Um, I don't think they're a team that's just going to roll over. Um, but their Tua is their X factor. Until he's actually fully healthy and able to play for this team, I do not think that they're going to be uh, very good or be able to win games against teams like the Vikings. So I'm rooting for the Dolphins. I need them to beat the Vikings because we need to catch up to them. Um, but I think Vikings have got this one. Yeah, man, I, I'm in agreement here. I think the Vikings are too strong just because Tua is out. If Tua had been in and with no concussions whatsoever, I think it'd be a totally different story. I think that Tua and that offense are super high powered, and I mean, so sad that they had to have some losses here while he's out. But now we go again to another stinky game. This one's actually uh, right after this video. It's going to be Washington versus. The Bears. What do you think here, Reed? Dude, I don't even know where to even start with these two teams. <laughs> oh my god! I... It's so the Bears bad. stink. Commanders stink. These are like my two of these favorite franchises right now. Even though I used to have respect for the Bears, it's hard to respect them at all right now. Um. It's like a flip a coin here, man, honestly. 
I, I'm just... leaning more towards the Commanders just because I don't trust Justin Fields. But the Bears are at home, at Aaron Rodgers' home, I mean. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go Commanders. I'm going to go Commanders. Ooh, well, I think I'm going to go Bears here. Okay. I do. I do need the Bears to do good for some of my bets that I've been placing. Uh, okay. We got underdog fantasy that we've been talking about lately, and I got some bets going on Justin Fields as well as uh, – what's his name? They're running back. Can't remember his name right now, but anyways. Uh, Montgomery and, Her- and Mon- Herbert. Montgomery. Montgomery's my guy this week for sure. Hopefully he gets like 20 points because I don't need it. But uh, moving on to the next game, we got the San Francisco 49ers versus the Atlanta Falcons at Atlanta. I wish AJ was here because I know he would have so much to say here. Uh, But right now, the Niners are hurting with injuries on that defense. But I think that defense is still a juggernaut there. They've been holding guys down. Uh, The scoreboard shows it all. The stats show it all. They've been getting sacks, interceptions, forced fumbles. Uh, But now with most, or I think two of their defensive backs out, as well as some other players on the defensive side. Uh, what do you think about the Falcons and possibly making an upset here, making the game close at least? Um, those injuries obviously create holes um, and gives the Falcons a way to claw back into that game, you know. Um, but I think the Diners are a very well-coached team, and that's what, that, even though they have good players, it's their coaching that makes them uh, great and be able to win these games. Um, so I'm still going to stick here with the Niners. Uh, I don't care if they're injury, uh, plagued. I I like the Niners. Yeah, man. I like the way the offense is going, uh, right now, Marcus Mariota and the Falcons aren't doing so hot. So I'm going to go ahead and go with the Niners as well. But now we get to my game and this game will either be, will either be playing at 305 or 405, just because of the Seattle Mariners are going to play in a playoff game, possibly. Uh, we'll see if that happens or not, but the time is going to be adjusted. So for you fantasy players, you might have a little bit more time with some of the players here uh, if you want to sit them out or sub them back in. But we got the Cardinals versus the Seahawks at uh, Lumen Field. So what do you think here, Reed? I'll let you go first before I have my blunder of uh, a speech. Um, so I had to respect the Seahawks offense now. I think Gino is playing very, very well. Whether he can do it a whole season, uh, I, I wish them nothing for the best of him, but we'll have to wait and see uh, how that works. But right now they're firing off on all cylinders. They just met, uh, lost Penny, um, but I think that they, they're still a running team. They just need to get a new guy in there. Um, their defense is horrible. It is, man. It is. It it's, is. It is, it is last. It's, it's one of the worst. Uh, and I think the Cardinals get a win here. Oof, okay. Well, besides that horrible defense, we do have some upsides on defense. His name is Tariq Woolen. Uh, he has three interceptions right now. He's one of our speediest guys. He's the fastest guy in the NFL so far this season with uh, a speed of 22.7 miles per hour on one of his interceptions last game. Uh, but the Cardinals are no joke either, and I don't know if there's any Call of Duty uh double xp weekends going on there, there's every single weekend okay well i guess it's no excuse anymore because uh, they've been kind of winning some of these games but not a lot because they are two and three just like the seahawks uh so this is going to determine who's going to be pretty much last uh so right now as we know i'm going to go with the seahawks but let me tell you why uh reed just said that rashad penny is hurt he's not going to play for the rest of the season but Geno Smith is playing lights out. Uh, so is Tyler Lockett. So is DK Metcalf. And Kenneth Walker slid in last week. Uh, he only had eight carries, but he had 88 yards. So that's an 11 yard per carry. Uh, he was playing against the New Orleans Saints, who are no joke uh, with their run defense. But right now, the Cardinals don't have a running defense, just like the Seahawks don't. So it's going to be a running type game. If James Conner plays, I think the Cardinals have a lot better uh, a chance to beat the Seahawks, but they have Eno Benjamin for sure, so he is definitely going to make an impact. Uh, so for fantasy purposes, put in Eno because he will get a lot of points. Uh, but this game is probably going to be another high-scoring game. Uh, I don't think the Cardinals will be able to stop us uh, in the pass game, and I don't think we'll be able to stop them in the running game. So, But I'm still going with the Seahawks here. My prediction is going to be it's another game in the 30s, 
I think we squeeze by by three points, probably 36 to 33, something around that range. Wow. But, Jeez, you start Seahawks talk already, man. Hey, man, I kind of need to, but I'm very uh, – very much in a time crunch with school right now, but I will, I will try as uh, December comes along. I will have yeah. a lot more time. Maybe I will roll something out for some of those Seahawks Ooh, fans. Okay. okay. <laughs> but all right, we're going to get to the next game Panthers versus the Rams. Uh, I do not like the Rams, but I definitely do not like the Panthers right now, especially with Baker Mayfield uh, being a little, uh, a little baby out there. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. Ankle, and then he's grabbing his knee on the other side of the, the wrong leg. Uh, but right now, they have PJ Walker coming in for sure. Uh, I think they do have a better chance of getting that offense rolling with PJ Walker. He is a little bit more mobile, and he has been successful when he does start. So, right now, the Rams are not looking good besides Cooper Cup and Tyler Higby. Uh, Matthew Stafford does not look good. None of their running backs look good. That defense does not look good. And pretty much we haven't heard from Defensive Player of the Year Aaron Donald in a long, long time. He hasn't been an impact this year too much. And that defense is really struggling because they are sitting at 2-3 and three, just like the Seahawks and Cardinals. Uh, it's, it's looking very bleak for them. But I still think the Rams will come out with the win here. Uh, they are playing at home. And they are the reigning Super Bowl champions, so they do have some talent here and there. But I just don't think the Panthers have it right now. But Christian McCaffrey definitely will be an impact all right um i'm gonna go rams here um i i just don't like the panthers i don't like what they're ha- have to give me i don't like the rams either they're completely terrible now um but i think they're a better team than the panthers at the very least and if they aren't man you gotta you gotta sell this team dude for sure for sure <laughs> but I mean, now we're coming up on the last game. It's going to be Sunday night football. Cowboys are four and one. Eagles are the only team undefeated at five and zero. Oh. Uh, it it was stated uh, last night that Cooper Rush is going to be the starter. Uh, that's what they're leaning towards. So as we come to Sunday night football in a few days, uh, it does not look like Dak Prescott is going to start. Cooper Rush has been basically unstoppable not so much on the scorecard but in leading the cowboys to four straight wins uh so right now i want to pick with the cowboys but i just think the eagles are too much i think they have everybody uh hitting on all cylinders Devonte smith is now a factor uh, miles sanders is right now fourth in uh rush rushing yards uh as of the top five leaders and I just think that the Eagles are going to continue to roll, even though the Dallas Cowboys defense is pretty legit. Okay, okay. Um, this is a great game. Uh, I'm very, I'm very much convinced that they could go either way, no matter how I think it. Um, but the thing is, I don't think this team, these teams, are either one of them is going to uh, sweep the other one because there are division rivals. They do play twice a year. Um, and this is played in Philadelphia, man. Um, I think I think the Eagles come up on top. Uh, a co-worker of mine who's an Eagles fan, he talked me into the week, Eagles 100% winning this week. So I'm going to go with the Eagles, right? I'm going to shout out Corey. He's a, he's a, he, he watches our videos every once in a while. Um, so I'm going to go to the Eagles here. I'm going to trust him. Uh, if not, I'm going to give him hell on Monday. <laughs> there you go, man. I would expect nothing less. Uh, I do have some friends who are Eagles fans, and I know that a lot of the Cowboys fans will never let them hear the end of it. So, I mean, we're both going Eagles here. We're trusting in them. Uh, but some of the other teams who are not playing right here, we got the Texans, Titans, Raiders, and Lions. Uh, right now, the Titans are the only team on a bye week that have a winning record. Everybody else is either 1-3-1 and one or 1-4. One and four. I'm so glad. Not- I'm. I'm really glad the Raiders are on a bye week. Devontae Adams has some jail time he needs to serve, so <laughs> it gives them some time to uh, figure that out. You know. That is true, man. But I, I think it's not until like three weeks where he has to be back into. I know. Uh, I know. Kansas City. So we'll see what happens there. But uh, that's gonna go ahead and be our projections here. Uh, we're gonna go over it just one more time. Uh, both me and Reed got the Jags. We both got the Patriots. Uh, I got the Bills and you have the Kansas City Chiefs. 
Uh, I have. We both have the Chargers. We both have the Packers. You have Saints, I believe. No, you have Bengals as well, Bengals, right? Bengals, yeah. Yeah, and then, oh, I did not choose here, but I think we both chose the Baltimore Ravens. I mm-hmm. uh, got the Buccaneers for both of us, the Vikings for both of us. You chose the Commanders. I chose the Bears. Uh, San Francisco for both of us. We split here on the NFC uh, Divisional game. You chose Cardinals. I got my Seahawks. And then we both chose Rams, and we both chose Eagles. So that's going to be our Week 6 schedule predictions. And, I mean, we'll see how we do. Right now we're creeping up on AJ, so we're going to wait for his – uh, projections to go down into the comments uh, but for the rest of y'all you know go ahead and look for us on twitter and facebook at nsp football talk you know we got our email there we got some fantasy stuff coming out all the time and we just might do another fantasy talk on saturday depending on how the fans react to it again but also find us on tiktok at nsp football talk we got some funny content out there and i know reed just released a video so go like his video because if he gets 10 likes or he's going to go ahead and do a TikTok where his face is going to be in the TikTok. Don't and you know it. you know that's what we want to see, man. So it's going to be it. <laughs> Do it, guys. Go like that video. Like this video. Subscribe. And we hope that you like these videos. And catch us uh, when we do it on Tuesday and Saturday for Fantasy Football Talk. But other than that, as AJ always says, keep on grinding. <laughs>